welcome back to part three of five of our ride to the future. Hi everybody, I'm Dave. And I'm Brenda. We're back at the Rohan Regional Recreation Center to start our third trip, a uh, golf cart ride, heading south towards the Aviary Recreation Center. This will be our third segment of five as we're working our way to the new part of the villages that hasn't even started yet. They haven't even broken ground for. So that's our goal. It'll take us a little while to get there. So today's segment, you ready to get started? I'm ready, let's go. All right, let's go. All right, starting our trip from Rohan Regional Recreation Center. Get out of the parking lot here. And we're gonna be going across the Chitty Chatty Bridge. This is the first of three major bridges that was built to finish up connectivity for all those villages that are south of uh, Route 44. 44 is the road that Brownwood Paddock Square is, is on. So that used to be as far south as you could go by golf cart. But not anymore. And then straight ahead would have been the Lake Deaton Plaza Shopping Center. All right, so this is the Chitty Chatty Bridge. It was open in October, I believe, of 2020, thereabouts. Now to get to our home down in McClure, we still have to cross another bridge. We have to get over two bridges, either this one or the one over at Brownwood, the Brownwood Bridge. We have to take one of those to get across 44. And then we'll have to cross the Water Lily Bridge that goes across the Florida Turnpike for us to get home. So we're coming into the village of Chitty Chatty. How did they come up with that name? Yeah. I'm not sure. Some about a creek or something right I here? saw a creek back before they started building all of this that said, that said Chitty Chatty Creek. So, oh. And it was close to here. So I'm assuming that that may be the origin of the name, but I don't know. Chitty Chatty is mostly built out. There's a section right here that's near the bridge that they've held uh, held back on, have not started other than they got the land ready. And they put some walls up. Yeah, haven't really started any housing in there. Um, not exactly sure what the what the plan is. I've heard there's going to be a different type of villa or something, but I don't know for sure. And you know, plans change, they may have some other ideas for it. But uh, they're holding off for some reason on that piece, I imagine. And you cannot access it with a car. And you see right here the yeah you see the, the, the roads, across the road yeah the roads blocked so we can come get to the bridge by golf cart but that section there they've got it blocked off it's ready for development it may just be they're building in so many places at once that something had to be on hold for a little bit because they're they're busy 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 building this is pretty to be right up against the natural woods and marshland in Florida. Now, the, uh, we will see a few things here in the middle. So this isn't normally here. You'll see on the ground some pads and that pole. They have changed out the, um, the electric poles there. So this little section, they did something different here in Chitty Chad. They're using the electric pole line area as the path for us to take the golf carts on. So interesting. I think it was a good use of the space. Yes. But, um, but yeah, normally that grass, it'll be all nice and grass there. Those poles will be picked up shortly. They're just finishing that project up. We're, uh, and yeah. to the me- The new ones are in. Yeah, yeah. And to me, it looks like if you notice at the top of those poles, they're just making space there to be able to put some, uh, some more lines up there. So a, a dual set of lines coming through. Now to the homes, those are all underground. That's more of a, to feed an area, I'm assuming, that up there. Yeah. Uh, there are no power lines going to the homes in the villages, at least down in the, these sections down here. In the air. Um, yeah, it's it's underground wiring going to your home. 
I wish I had seen when they put the poles up. I know I rode by when they were getting ready to do it, and a bunch of them went up really quickly before coming back. So apparently it's a quick process. I, I should have stood around to wait to see what they did. <laughs> that would have been interesting to see. I thought they would They're have to huge. put up the new ones and move the wires. It's like they were able to put up a new one and move the wires and take the old one down all simultaneously very quickly. And to your right that you're seeing, that's the Chitty Chatty Postal and Rec Center. So they've got a, a pretty view of this lake from their pool. Uh, postal and Rec Centers typically are your neighborhood pools. Again, that's for the adults. And if you have a family in that's under, that's 29 or under, they go to a family pool. Oh, then this is a new pole that has not been put in yet. So you yeah. might have to come back down here and see it when they put this up. Yeah, I'd love to know when they were doing it. Put the current up and watch. That one's an old one, and this one straight ahead is an old one because the new one you can see is much wider yeah. and yeah. taller and has more of those connection, yeah. connection things coming out of it. Saw a big auger machine there and cranes. And I would assume it's like in more than just the dirt, <laughs> probably some concrete thing set in there. But... Alright, we're still in Chitty Chatty, getting ready to come to the entrance to Chitty Chatty. If you want to be able to see it over to the right, but that's where the cars would come into Chitty Chatty. The gate's there. You might get a glimpse of it when we make this turn right here. Yeah, I think the house is uh, going to get there right just not, in time. Yeah. But um, that goes out onto Morse Boulevard which is south of 44, continues south of 44. Morse is going to go down to a roundabout, and then we'll divide, and it will go towards the right, would be what they call Rolling Acres, and Morse will continue to the left coming out of that roundabout. So it's Warm Springs. I'm sorry, what did I say, Rolling Acres? Yeah. Okay. Got yeah. a different area on my mind. Yeah, yep. Morse Boulevard at the roundabout. If you go right, it goes into Warm Springs. Warm Springs, yep. Rolling Acres is way up near Spanish Springs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah not sure where that one came from. Oh, that. Don't worry. I, I, I'll keep you straight. I'll, I'll keep you straight. And you notice as you get into these villages that have been built recently, um, they're, they're really putting them in nice. Um, natural settings there's a lot of walking trails you'll notice right here to the left yeah that's not a golf cart path that's going to be a walking trail when they they do a lot of walking paths around the ponds and near up the, against the woods and yeah, marsh near the marsh and woods and uh just for gorgeous walking areas and it's nice to separate it out sometimes um, the multimodal paths are for everybody so you can walk on them in carts but sometimes it gets congested and it, it's nice to be able to, to walk and not worry about a golf cart coming and uh, running you over. <laughs> <laughs> now this is the, we just left Chitty Chatty. Yeah. This is the village of Bradford. There's a couple entrances in it that we'll yeah. do. That's, the path is gonna curve around outside of Bradford here. We're going to be Continuing along Morse Boulevard. Yes. And you can still see those pads. They also had the power lines out here changed. That's why those pads are there. And these have already been changed. Yeah. These are the older poles are on the ground. Yeah. So they'll be cleaning all that up uh, soon, I'm sure. Okay. You might not be able to see it, but to your right, that's the roundabout. And if you go toward Bear to the left is going to continue more to be Morris Boulevard, and if you go right, that's going to be Warm Springs Avenue. And Warm Springs will take you over to our village, yes. McClure, and Soto, Everglades. Yeah, the Everglades uh, Rec Center, Center yeah. Marsh Bend, yeah. uh, Fenny, uh, Linden, and uh, uh, I left somebody out. Maybe I'll leave out over there. I left a couple of them out. Sorry if I did. There's getting to be so many villages down there that I'm on top of my tongue. So we're that uh, roundabout went around. We're still buried onto Morse Boulevard, which is on our right across the pond. Monarch Grove. 
Monarch Grove was the one I missed. That was yeah. that's uh, down there uh, in our area, south of yeah. the Turnpike. I couldn't think of it off the top of my head either. I knew it'd come. This is still home for Bradford to our left. And Bradford is just about built out. I think there may be a couple of lots. I don't think they're for sale. I think everything's, my guess is they're all purchased. Um, on the right hand side there, yeah, that's the back side of the village of Hawkins. Um, we did a flyover, I'm not sure that's been, it should be posted by now. And uh, so you can check that out and get a little bit of a tour. We do by air and by ground of the village of Hawkins. To get into Hawkins, you have to go up to uh, Megasin Road, which is a couple of blocks ahead of us. This is the second entrance into Bradford on the left. So we just kind of went around Bradford. Yes. And then we're going to continue south beside Morris. And you notice it's, they use that same style uh, throughout the villages for the golf cart pass to cross an entrance into a village. It usually curves around behind the gate and then uh, you go across there with the gate, helping to break the traffic for you. So there's a safety factor to slow the traffic down and you're able to get, get across. We'll be leaving the village of Bradford. To the left, there's some more marshland. Way over there, I'm sure you cannot see it on the camera, but there's a, a little bridge, a walking bridge. bridge. Yeah. Very cute. For the walking trails. The walking trail goes over around that pond and through the woods over towards the village of St. Catherine. Which we'll see after we pass these trees on your left. So and we're coming there across we are. the other side. Yep. yep. That's St. Catherine. St. Catherine to your left and Hawkins to your right. Yeah. These are the newer areas that are houses are going up rapidly. They're for sale, but people are also already living in this area too. But this is the the hot spot right now as far as constructing activity. And moving in. Yeah, and moving in. And we're gonna come up to a tunnel. Yeah, so this tunnel, if I were to go straight, it would continue. We're coming up to the interstate where where Megasin Road is. Going straight would continue on to the village of St. Catherine and the uh, the new recreation area. Sawgrass. Sawgrass Grove recreation area that's under construction. Did a video on that one too. You can check that out. All we right. turned right because we wanted to get over here and head north on Megasin here. <laughs> well, we're actually not going to go north. We're going to get to the Aviary Rec Center. Yeah. But this is the Megasin Road path. Turning right here, it's going to take us right up to the Aviary Recreation Center, which was our goal for the day. I'll tell you a little bit about it when we pull up there. And now we're on the Hawkins side of the road from Morse Boulevard. Morse Boulevard. Yes. This one is um, one of the newer ones that has just opened up. Yeah. It hasn't been open for very long. I believe, if I remember right, I believe this is the 100th Recreation Center for the villages. To 100 to open. And there's others under construction, so there'll be more than 100. But this, was, <laughs> this was number 100. Uh, and a neat little thing about it, in, inside, the decorations inside, we'll go in another another video, but it it is actually decorated based on one chair. It was a chair that uh, that was that the decorators had purchased that had a just they liked the look of it was a bird, bird. on it. Yes. And then that and was the theme. Th that was the theme and the colors, everything came from that chair. And you can tell the chair is in the front foyer and you can tell that that uh, was where the it theme, all uh, where it all started. Yes. 
and also there is a it's beautiful in there. It's found that paper mache is the right term, but it's made of it's a, a paper yeah, um, a artwork. Eagle. Yeah, it's an artwork at Eagle, and they've got it in a glass display there. Definitely worth seeing. Definitely, yes. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you next time. We've made it to the Aviary Recreation Center and finished the third part of our five part series of riding to the future here in the villages where we're going to get down to eventually get to an area that the land hasn't even been broken but uh, there's a lot of talk about what could be there in the future so we're looking forward to the things to come here in the villages so did you have fun doing that brenda i i love golf cart rides in the villages absolutely so do us a favor give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done that if you haven't there should be a button over there in the corner you can press that'll get you there and also ring the bell and that'll notify you the next time we explore the villages.